Breaking news. Buhari goes after Ganduji as he supports Tinubu. Hello, my wonderful people. A few days ago, we brought you up to speed that Governor Ganduji, that's the governor of Kanu State, announced and said the whole of North was with um, Ashiwajo Ahmed Bola Tinubu, and he was quickly corrected by the North that Tinubu may be your candidate, but is not our candidate. He may not be our candidate, and so don't give him that solemn pledge. You know, he came out to tell Tinubu that, ah, you are the one. Don't worry, the North holds you for supporting Buhari and ensuring that Buhari becomes president. For that reason, the North has no choice but to support you. But right now, Buhari is reminding him of all the anti grief cases. Again, that's a scam, okay? This man was caught in his first general with bribe. And guess what? He went under the carpet. All of a sudden, they are waking up to see they want to investigate him. After he has he succeeded in winning second tenor, are you sure the people of Kano, you know, voted for such a man? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. The Presidential Advisory Committee Against Corruption has said that Governor Ganduji of Kano State has so many cases to answer in and out of office. The executive secretary of the committee, Professor Sayyid Isiak, disclosed this on Thursday in Abuja at the 26th Anti-Corruption Situation Room Assessment 2021. Professor Isiak lamented that Ganduji has many cases to answer why in office and even after his leaving office, his own son exposed what him and his wife were up to and the son had to run away from Nigeria and now in Egypt. The son had to expose to the Economic and Financial Crime Commission to come after the mother. Aside Ganduji's corruption cases mounting up. But guess what? They are saying this now. Is it not just a, a, another dis disguise? What have they done about it? Let's continue. The arrangement has its term as state of anti-corruption in Nigeria assessment or 2021 agenda for 2022. It was organized by the Human and Environmental Development Agency, a, a civil society organization at the Rockview Royal Hotel. Professor Isiak made the remark while chairing the panel of discussion on how corruption fought back in 2021 experience of whistleblowers anti-corruption actors journalism in the country the pacaca executive group who engaged anti-corruption actors to be more resilient also spoke about ganduji's son reportedly reported the wrongdoing of his own mother anti-corrupt to the anti-corruption authority he had to flee the country because he said he was scared of his life. You can see in Kano, Ganduji has so many cases to answer. Why in office? He will answer more out of office. And sadly, for the first time in Nigeria, a son is taking his own mother to EFCC. Earlier in the opening remark, the chairman of HEDA, Mr. Olariwaju Showo, said the but the purpose of the organization engagement is for Nigerian collectively, collective good, and that we are working for any government or we are not working for any government or political party or anybody, but for Nigerians. And the purpose of this engagement, we want to stand in solidarity with each other and speak against corruption. So. Ganduji's woes started after as soon as he, you know, said to Nigerians that, um, you know, um, yeah, you know, Tinubu was somebody that the North was standing with, you know, and the North was quick to correct him and say, no, you are standing with Tinubu. We are not standing with Tinubu. You know, some quarters have it that Buhari may not be altogether for Tinubu. Again, we don't know. Okay, we don't know. All these are speculations. It may be for him, it may not be for him. What exactly are they doing? Whatever they are settling, whatever they are deciding, it is up to them, and we don't want to be in the midst. We want them to settle their issue, whatever they think, you know, they, they, they want to do. But Nigeria should not be the bait for where they decide, you know, their decision or where they go about 
and you know nigerian government i mean the people becomes the reason why you know they 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 are having a battle we we don't care whatever they are doing we don't really care like sincerely we don't really care but the truth of the matter is we want nigerian government we want the people to be aware that we will no longer allow okay them to use the nation as their settling board okay we had a promise each other after my turn you will have a turn not because these people are visionary or ready to do anything tangible to bring about a change in the nation the country has gone through a lot previously to this time nigeria is that country where you know one would have thought that by now would have gone very far but sadly no sadly no we, we've come a long way as a nation as a people but this has not reflected in who we really are because of bad leadership all across the years now buhari and tinubu may have their own scores whatever they did for each other to support each other is up to them really it's up to both of them but nigeria should not become the grounds for which they now you know decide and discuss what they intend to do or what they are doing and all that i believe I believe that these people should decide and settle their matter. Okay? Ganduje is that man that if you look at what is going on in the country, you will weep for Nigeria. Somebody in his first tenure was caught with bribe. Now, Nigeria has a policy against bribery. If they don't have it, it will not be a problem. He gave out a contract and was collecting bribe in dollars, caught in camera. Did you know that Nigerian government, the Senate did not go after the corporate? They went after the whistleblower, the man who was privileged and opportune to be able to video, for video evidence to expose to the world what Gandhiji was doing. As we speak, that man is in Great Britain now, and the nation of Great Britain has given him asylum because his life was in danger. Do you understand me? They, they pushed him so much so that the man had to leave the country. You know, there was so much threat coming for him, according to him. Ganduje was after his life, according to, according to him. So he had to run. Otherwise, according to him, he would be a dead man. So when you look at it, you begin to wonder, so what sort of nation are we? Where is integrity? Where is truth? Where do we put these virtues and these values? Where do we put them? How do we decide? Where do we go from here? These are people who we all know as a nation. We are very much aware of their escapades. Yet they get away with it. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. God bless you. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.